hello welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be trying new in foods from sainsbury's so i did actually want to film this yesterday but i just really wasn't hungry so now i'm going to film it today but i'm going to film it slightly differently to how i would normally so normally i would sit down and try everything all in one go but today i'm gonna try and um see how this works so i'm gonna have some of it for breakfast because some of it will be breakfast e type items and i will see how that goes and then we'll see <laughs> so the first things i've got to try are this this new yo valley organic and it's a banana yogurt with almond butter there was also like a plain yogurt with almond butter and another one that uh, they didn't have any in stock of so i thought i'm gonna give this one a go and this one which is really intriguing is the crunchy note crunchy crunchy nut granola fusion i've got the chocolate and hazelnut now i don't know how i'm gonna feel about this it's just add water which just makes me think that sounds really weird so i'm gonna make this up and try it and see how it is I'm not, so let me just make this one up and then i will taste test them for you and then i will have them both as breakfast i've added some water to this and it says to wait a minute so whilst we're waiting for that let's try some of this one try and show you the inside so i've just got some yogurt and then that's a little pot of almond butter and the almond butter is really um thin actually I expected it to be gloopy so I wasn't sure how it's going to work so I'm just pouring it in it's really difficult to do while stood up trying to film but we'll get there we've got this I haven't quite got it all but let's see I've got it in there and you just I guess you just mix it in see I've got some that's mixed it's nice yeah nothing nothing special nothing offensive not sure i'd buy again because i think it was quite expensive even on offer yeah that was okay i will obviously finish it for breakfast i think i would give that one a, a seven it really was just sort of average nothing special i could have got myself a plain pot of yogurt and added my own peanut butter or almond butter to it so it's been a minute it looks kind of watery and i'm still not sure about this one so let's see again it's okay wouldn't buy again that adding water thing is still really strange to me i get the concept of it but uh with it being like a to-go kind of cup but i'd rather just get a box of cereal and add milk to it but again i will eat this i will finish this off for my breakfast and then i mean i might be able to do a slightly better sit down taste testing of the rest of the food we'll see i am working today so i'll have to try and figure out how to film the rest of this today but so far that's the breakfast items oh i didn't rate this kellogg's uh crunchy granola thing i think i'm probably gonna put this on the same as the yogurt at a seven out of ten and i will see you soon for more taste testing so i'm just back with a top on because i was getting cold and i thought i would show these next and i've got one this is a tetley super squash immune with vitamin c this particular flavor is the lime and elderflower now, i don't usually try like new drinks and stuff i'm not sure why i think i just never really thought to look and i guess this is completely new for tetley because i don't think i've ever seen them do squash before so i thought i would try some of this and then i want to show you these as well it's the salted dark chocolate almonds there were quite a few different things it wasn't just almonds you could get like cashews peanuts and it wasn't just chocolate covered but i thought i wanted to try these so they were new at sainsbury's and i've honestly never seen them before i've never even heard of this brand actually it, it was quite pricey but i really struggled to find anything that was new um i'm not sure if i just wasn't looking properly or i don't know but i walked around the shop for 
ages and I barely found anything so I thought I'd show these as a snack so actually I'm just gonna open this up now and try it now and then I will make up the squash so it smells nice so there really isn't much in there I'm sure they were like two pounds it's ridiculous so it's just kind of as you expect I suppose an almond to be covered in chocolate so it is nice and you can really taste the salted bit of it. I'm not sure it's necessarily worth two pounds, but these are gluten-free, vegan, and it has real, I can't speak real Belgian chocolate. Um, yeah, so they are nice, but I'm not sure they're worth the money. So I probably wouldn't buy them again unless they were on a good offer because there really isn't that many either. I could probably sit and finish this pack if I really wanted to. I'll give them a 7.5 because they are nice and they're nicer than those breakfast items that I had but it's not worth the money I don't think. I'm gonna make up my squash. I've made the squash up. Looks pretty clear. Not sure what it smells of. So <laughs> with how like clear and diluted it looks I didn't expect much from the taste but it is quite limey. That's okay actually. If you don't like just drinking plain old water all the time, then this would actually be quite nice. But again, I would say it's quite expensive. It was two pounds for the bottle, I think. So I do think that's quite expensive for a bottle of squash. So I'd probably still opt for a cheaper option because I think squash is squash. For this video, it was, it was nice to try. I think this is going to be, you know, I think I'm gonna put it with the breakfast items at a seven out of 10. Again, it's nothing special. We're gonna leave it here for now. Um, yeah, this is a really completely different way of me filming this new in video. So I'll see how it goes. But yes, I think we'll leave that here for now again. And then I'll come back in a little while and do maybe another two or three items, maybe. It seems to work quite well actually. So we'll see, I might do that. But either way, next time I see you, I'll be trying something new from Sainsbury's again. I am back again with a few more bits to try. So the first one I'm gonna go for is this, ignore the yellow sticker, I was just, making use of it because it is quite expensive but this was a new in and it's a, I'm not sure bodega further than flavor I think that's the brand um this particular one is a chorizo one and they had another two or three different versions of this with like different so it wasn't chorizo you could have I, can't, I don't remember now but yeah there is different ones and it almost reminds me of like the uh, Dairy Lee little snack packs which I guess is probably similar but this one is high in protein so yeah I thought I would give this a go let's see it does come with some little little toast things um, and you've got the slice of chorizo and a slice of cheese that I can't get the cheese is breaking up so I can't quite get the cheese Let's build one. I've attempted to build it, but the cheese honestly did not want to play ball and it's just stuck together. So that's my little thing. I guess just in one mouthful. You know what, I actually really like that. I wasn't sure I would. I wanted to get the other ones, but because they were more expensive, and this one had a yellow sticker on, I went for this one. But I'm not usually the biggest fan of trit, so I don't mind it in very, very small amounts. But it's not usually my kind of thing. I just find it too, like, oily, too greasy. But this is actually really nice. I'm really surprised. I think the little toast and the cheese all kind of help. And they work very well together with the trit, so. It is £2.25 full price, though, which I do think is a lot of money for this. So maybe if it's on offer or something, I'd get it again, but I'm not sure I'd buy it for full price, but it is good and I do like it. I guess if you're feeling a bit flush, you could treat yourself to one of these, but I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't buy it again at full price. But I would give this an eight out of 10 
it's really surprised me that I like it actually and um, obviously I'll need to finish it off because it, it is on a yellow sticker and I have opened it now but we're going to try something else as well we're going to try this smorgasbord this particular one is a Swedish veggie snack balls and they did have meat version of it as well this particular one is actually vegan so it's not just veggie it's vegan and it's gluten free and again it's quite high in protein nine grams of protein per bag for this for the veggie one i'm intrigued to try it i'm not sure what they smell like i'll try and show you the inside i have opened it really weirdly so that's the inside of it i mean they're not quite ball they're more cylinders I don't like that. I don't like that one. Um, not sure if the meat one would taste nicer or better. It's not the worst tasting thing I've ever had, but I don't like it. 100% would not buy again. I will finish it because I don't like wasting food, so they I, they will be finished at some point. But would never. I don't think I could buy that again. I'm giving that a six out of ten. I think it is a good option if you are vegan, vegetarian and looking to get more protein in your diet or just looking for some snacks. Um, even if you're not vegan, vegetarian and you just want alternative snacks, it's not the worst. But for me, 6 out of 10, wouldn't buy again. So far it's not been great, has it? <laughs> Let's see if uh, the next couple of bits I've got will make it better. I'm going to do a couple more bits and then we're going to... And then I'm going to go back to work for a bit longer and then I'll come back and do some more. So the next ones I've got are, they're both crisps. So I've got this one which is um, a new Sun Bites and this is roasted onion and turmeric. So this is a multi-pack of six. I really like the Sun Bites, the sour cream and chive one and I think they've got a sweet chilli. So I thought it would be good to try this, but I'm really not sure about the flavour. So they just come in, obviously, little packs like this. See, so they're high in fibre and they're suitable for vegetarians. I'm just not sure about the flavour. Okay, it doesn't smell bad. You get about half a pack, as expected with any packs of crisps these days. So... You can kind of see, obviously, the colour from the turmeric. How do you say that? Turmeric? Turmeric? I like these. I didn't know what to expect at all. But you actually get quite a lot of sweetness from the roasted onion. Not sure I so much get that much turmeric flavour. Although, I'm not really sure what turmeric is supposed to smell of. Really, like, I use it with other spices in cooking. But on its own, I don't actually know what it should taste like. But yeah, you really get the sweetness, so that was a little bit of a surprise. I think these are going to be a 7.5. Probably wouldn't necessarily buy again, but I don't normally get the Sun Bites that regularly anyway. So, we're sticking with Chris. And this one is a bit more of a cheat. It's a limited edition rather than a new new. But it's the Sainsbury's Taste the Difference, and it's the Summer Edition. And this one's roasted garlic and mixed herb flavours. Again, I'm not sure about the flavour, but I do absolutely love garlic. So, I want to see what it's like in a crisp. So these ones are vegan. Yeah, it's not the only thing I can say about them. They are vegan. So they kind of just smell of... Um... Oh, I can't think what flavour it is that I'm thinking of, but just kind of like... I really can't think of the flavour I'm thinking of, but it smells of something else. Oh, I can't remember now. But it smells good. It just smells of something else as well. So you can get the roasted garlic flavour in this. I don't think it's that strong, personally. But maybe that was just me. As I said, I absolutely love garlic. And I could literally just eat it. Not raw on its own, but I could just eat it. So, so sometimes it's almost like my taste buds are immune to the garlic. For me, I can't really... Yeah, you can tell it's there, but I don't think it's strong. I love these kinds of crisps. 
I love the crunch to them. Mm. You do definitely get the mixed herb flavours as well. I like this. How much do I like it though? I mean, I probably would buy it again. There's few crisps that I wouldn't buy again, to be fair. I think this one, let's go for an 8.5 or a 9. It's up there. So before I demolish the whole bag, we're going to leave it here again. So a little sneak peek of the next things. This is going to be included and we've got a couple of other bits here too. And then I've got another thing I might as well show you actually is this. I'll show you better and we'll talk about it when I actually come to having it, but that will be a lunch option. I will be back when we do that. For now, I might have some more crisps <laughs> and do some more work. And then I will come back and show you some of those other bits. Maybe not all of them, but I will show you some of them. And then, yeah, that will be it actually, because I don't think I have anything else that's new after I've shown you those bits. I'm not sure how this style of video is going to work actually. It wasn't intended to be filmed like this. So let me know if you actually like how I've done it this time round, or if you do prefer I go back to the just sit down, try everything in one go kind of video. But yeah, I'll see you when I eat again. I think it is time to try some more new foods from Sainsbury's. Let's see how far I get with this lot. This, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can, finish everything off now and end the video. Let's find out. I am going to try some of the Naked Bars. So I've had some of the other ones before. I've never tried one of these, these ones that, I'm not sure actually. These just look very different. So I've never tried one of these, but I have tried the other ones and some of them I like, some of them I don't like, but honestly, they're not really a go-to kind of bar for me. Um, there's loads of other kind of bars that I prefer to have so I don't usually go for these but this one is new. I'm sure this one's a lot more expensive as well though than the other ones. I know that the Naked Bars are quite popular so let's see. So this one is, let's see, 100% natural ingredients, no added sugar, gluten free and vegan. Obviously, well I say obviously, but I think most of them are like fruit and nuts, so it does contain nuts. Now, this is what it looks like, very similar to the other um, Naked Bars that I've seen before. Double cho chocolate fruit and nut bar, dipped and drizzled in chocolate. So I guess it's maybe a new thing that they're doing as in completely new, not just a new flavour. They did have one new flavour, but I really didn't want to try it. It didn't sound like something I'd like. I think it was coconut macaroon. So, I don't know if you can see, but there's kind of chocolate drizzled over it. it smells pretty chocolatey. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have this again. There's definitely flavours I've had in the past, that I like, but I wouldn't go for that one again. And that was really expensive as well. I'm sure it was like three pounds, three pound fifty. I'm gonna have to give that one like a five out of ten for me. I think maybe if you like the majority of the range of naked bars, you will like this. I don't know, but for me, there's just something that I don't really like about it. I will obviously not waste this, so something will happen with this, whether I give it to friends or whether I just bear with it and eat them. So don't worry, I won't waste anything, but yeah, that's not that's not for me. Whilst we're here, we might as well try other things. So I've got this, the Oggs Millionaire Bites. So I've been meaning to try this brand for, <clears throat> sorry, I've got a bit of uh, the Naked Bar stuck in my throat. I've been meaning to try this Oggs brand for a while. I keep seeing them, I just haven't got around to doing it. So these are vegan friendly and in case you were bothered, 66 calories per bite. So I am interested. I 
think this was the only new thing from this brand. I haven't tried anything from them before yet. So it comes quite a thick, although small, it's quite a thick bite. Smells just like a shortbread, a millionaire shortbread. So it was a really nice flavour. The base was almost like flapjacky rather than like you would expect um, a million, millionaire shortbread to be. And there wasn't much chocolate on top. I like the ones where you've got a good layer of chocolate and you bite into it and you know the chocolate actually breaks. So it was quite soft and almost soggy in texture, but the taste was really good. I guess if it was on offer, I'd buy again, because I do know that brand is a little bit more expensive. So, but I wouldn't say no to it. I do like it. If you were going to compare it to like the little Thornton's ones, then personally, I would prefer those. But of course, they probably are not vegan, I imagine. Definitely won't be vegan. So I kind of prefer them in terms of the texture, but I definitely, these are good. I haven't tried any other sort of vegan like treats like that. So it may be that it doesn't quite compare to those. I'm not sure. I think I'd give that a seven out of 10 because they are good. It's got the taste, but for me, it's not the right texture. It doesn't have enough chocolate on it. So I think, but I think seven is still, you know, pretty high. <laughs> so we're sticking with kind of this, the sweet theme and I've got, just two unicorn cupcakes. Nothing exciting, but I thought I'd give them a go anyway. It's literally just a cupcake. So let me just open it up. They look quite small, but it doesn't really fit the case or fill the case. I imagine it's just literally like a vanilla sponge or something or a plain sponge with a bit of icing and that unicorn horn. Pretty much as expected, really. I only got it because I wanted a Sainsbury's own brand. I think um, like a six out of 10, just because it's nothing special. That's gonna be it. And then I'm gonna do one last thing and that'll be my lunch as well. So I am back to try the last new in item that I picked up from Sainsbury's. You will notice I have changed and look a bit different. I decided to do a bit of a lunchtime workout. Not sure if that was the best idea or not, but it was good to do something anyway. So the last thing I have, which is new in, is this John West steam pot with tuna infusions. I got the red pepper marinara pasta with basil tuna flavour. There were definitely other options as well. Um, I think I just decided this one was probably the one that I would like the most, but there were quite a lot of other things. There were like tuna meatballs in like barbecue sauce and things like that. All looked very interesting. So to make it, you needed to put it uh, boiling water in there for five minutes so it has now been five minutes so let me just mix it up and see so some of the pasta at the top doesn't look like it's necessarily gotten um, <laughs> the water it was meant to okay let's give it a good mix so that's the pasta bit so it's just been sat in water for five minutes and I think I think it looks okay actually. I was saying that the bit at the t the bits at the top look like they might not have got enough water to them, but actually I think it's okay. And then what you need to do is it comes with this this tuna bit as well. So you're meant to then add this on top. So I'm gonna do that too. So it is just tuna with I guess the basil. You can kind of see. So I've added the tuna on top. I think I just need to I guess just mix it in a bit maybe. In fact, it probably would have been better if I poured it out into a bowl. But I suppose the idea is that it's almost a lunch on the go. If you can just find some boiling water, then, you know, it's pretty easy. And I think this was on offer. I think um, with it being new, I'm pretty sure it was on offer. I don't remember how much. So I'm just gonna take a little forkful you can really taste the basil in the um, tuna. That's really good to be fair. I wasn't sure what to expect from one of these, but to be honest, I like like tuna pasta. So the pasta is almost like um, those, what are they called again? Mug shots. 
that's how the pasta kind of comes out so i guess it's the same idea you put boiling hot water in and then but the tuna is really good it is quite a strong basil flavor we'll say that but everything mixed together you know if i just really wanted a really lazy lunch this would be really good i think out of everything this is probably actually one of my favorites out of the new ones that i've managed to pick up i like the crisps i always do like crisps pretty much all the time yeah the unicorn cupcake was really disappointing the the cordial was surprising but certainly wouldn't pay the money for it yeah i think this is honestly i think this is my favorite out of everything today and if you really wanted to actually add a bit of cheese to the top of this would be really good might do that i think this is going to be a nine out of ten for me it's really strange but i really like that really enjoyed it so that is everything i've got today to try so yeah as i say it was a bit of a strange format today it's kind of been a bit here and there because i'm trying to fit it in between working um and just kind of when i feel like i need a snack usually it would be a sit down and i would try it all and actually i did get a suggestion to show everything first which unfortunately i just couldn't do so today just with how i've planned just how i filmed it and ended up doing it um and i forgot actually after the first two things so i thought i'll try again next time when i do this and i will show you everything first and i will have a proper sit down like i have done in the past but if you do enjoy this kind of format where it is slightly different spread out throughout my day then let me know and i can maybe try and do some more of this because it can actually fit in quite well with my week now that i'm a bit busier but yeah that is everything i feel like i've literally forgotten how to outro a video suddenly thank you for watching i hope you did enjoy this and if you did then please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more and comment down below on anything you'd like to see and any other suggestions i do very much appreciate the suggestions and take on board i'm you know trying to improve and i want to make this work for you so let me know if not just any su suggestions on the next video ideas but if there's things that you think i could improve on just comment them down below and i will see you again next time